This video provides a demonstration of the Skills Tasmania Employment Forecasting Tool. The data underpins the Tasmanian Skills Plan and is publicly available for use by government, industry bodies, employers, RTOs, and anyone with an interest in employment forecasts. The report provides employment data for 2024 and a three-year forecast to 2027, estimating the number of new workers needed to support economic growth and to replace those leaving occupations due to retirement or career changes. The forecasts use economic modeling by Victoria University. You can use the tool to view forecasts in summary or by detailed occupation, industry, or region. To start exploring the data, click on one of the six buttons. In this demonstration, you will start by looking at the Workforce Summary Data page. Click anywhere on the icon to navigate to the page, or use the tabs along the bottom of the report. You can return to this welcome page at any time by clicking the icon on the left-hand side or the bottom of the page. The Workforce Summary page gives an overview of the data by occupation, by industry, and by region. The Occupation view is currently selected, which shows five key employment measures for the major occupation groups defined in the ANSCO classification of occupations. Clicking in the column header sorts the data in order of the values in that column. Moving from left to right, Employment 2024 is the average employment headcount for the 2024 financial year. Here, you can see there were 30,482 workers in the labor's major occupation group on average in 2024, out of a total Tasmanian workforce of 282,085. Modeling is forecasting an increase of 0.1%, or 39 employees between 2024 and 2027. Employment growth 2024 to 2027 is the forecast change in employment as business, government, and other employers expand or contract their operations, and is expressed as a percentage of 2024 employment and as the number of employees. The net occupation outflow figure of 2,386 employees is the forecast numbers of job openings created through retirements or other reasons for permanently leaving an occupation less the number of workers re-entering occupations, who would typically not require training. The 2,956 total new laborers, expected by 2027, is a forecast of how many new workers are needed to be trained to fill occupations. It is the sum of additional new jobs from employment growth and net occupation outflow. In this example, total new workers is not equal to employment growth plus net occupation outflow, because the employment growth figure includes the effect of decreases in some of the detailed labor occupations that make up the total. The final column shows the top two growth occupation unit groups in the major occupation group of laborers are kitchen hands and housekeepers. Staying on this page, you can select the industry view or the region view to see the same data set summarized by industry division or Tasmanian region. To get a more detailed understanding of the employment forecasts, you can look at the occupation, industry, or region pages by using the buttons on the left-hand menu or the tabs at the bottom of the page. Selecting the occupation page shows a range of information at the more detailed occupation unit group level. Using the black drop-down menu in the top left of the page, you can either scroll or search by keyword. Typing PLU suggests plumbers. Along the top, from left to right, you will see the same five measures of employment growth shown on the workforce summary page. In the case of plumbers, 225 total new workers are expected by 2027. Hovering over the information icon in each box along the top row will bring up the national definition for the occupation, or the definition of the measure. This page also shows demographic information about the occupation you selected. The profile of plumbers shows 82% of plumbers in Tasmania have a VET qualification as their highest level of education while 17% have no post-school qualifications and 1% have a higher education qualification. In the smaller font below the icons, the comparative proportion for all Tasmanian workers shows that 34% of Tasmanian workers have a higher education qualification, 37% have a VET qualification and 29% have no post-school education. Moving to the right. 4% of plumbers are female compared with 49% of Tasmanian workers in all occupations. 32% of plumbers are over 50 years old, compared with 34% of Tasmanian workers. The larger chart on the right-hand side of the page shows employment growth by region. 
With reference to the left-hand axis, the columns show an increase in headcount of 55 in Hobart and the southeast, 22 in Launceston and northeast region and 16 in the west and northwest, equal to the rounded total of 94. If the forecast was for a decrease in workers, this would be shown by a gray bar below the horizontal axis. The blue dots show the corresponding percentage change in employment. In this case, 5.1%, 3.9%, and 4.3% of the 2024 employment for each region. You can also use the charts to filter the data. By clicking on the Launceston and Northeast column, the Employing Industries chart and the headline measures show data for the selected region. Clicking again returns to the full dataset. The final chart on this page shows the top five employing industries for the forecast growth in plumbers. Of the 94 additional plumbers forecast, 85 are forecast to be employed in the construction industry. For occupations with smaller values, this chart may not display any data. The next two pages show similar information, but you can choose to look at data for an industry division or a specific region. Clicking on the Industry button shows a similar layout to the Occupation page. Selecting an industry division in the same way, for instance, Manufacturing, shows the headline employment growth measures, a profile of manufacturing industry workers, and forecast growth by region. As you have selected a specific industry, the chart in the bottom left corner now shows the top five occupations forecast to grow within the industry. Food and drink factory workers is the occupation making up the largest component of forecast growth in the manufacturing industry. Moving to the region view, you can view the employment profile, top occupations, and top industries forecast to grow by 2027. Hobart and the Southeast region has a similar worker profile to the Tasmanian average. Aged and disabled carers are the occupation unit group forecast to be the largest component of employment growth and the healthcare and social assistance industry is the largest industry component of growth. If you would like to analyze the data yourself, you can download the data from the tool by using the Data Explorer. Clicking the Data Explorer button shows a data table, which you can filter using the region, industry division, and occupation unit group drop-down menus. To reset the filter, use the eraser icon in the top right corner of the filter. To download the data, Hover over the top right corner of the table, click on the More Options icon and select Export Data to save to your computer. The final page is the Data Notes. Here you can see the technical information about the data classification, data sources, and terms and definitions. When using this data, Skills Tasmania advises that you use the wording on this page. If you would like more information, Please email skillstasmania at inquiries at skills.tas.gov.au.